I love the Pier Park concept. I think it represents a clear illustration of our city's vision and that it honors our past and pursues our future. With Pier Park, we are honoring people like W.L. Straub, who advocated for a publicly owned waterfront and green space to be used for relaxation and recreation. And yet, we are also embracing St. Pete's millennial population that has come out strongly in favor of this concept. What's most important, though, is that we arrived at this decision by putting function before form, by finding out what the people wanted their peer to do. This, to me, was most important, because we've always acknowledged that getting consensus on the form of the peer was unlikely, if not impossible. And so we have a concept that addresses the key elements recommended by the working group, that integrates our pier into our iconic park system better than the other designs, that embodies the ideals of the waterfront master plan, and that has an estimated subsidy equivalent to or below our prior 10-year average. We need to move on. We need a fresh new concept. It's to bring a city together. It's a place that people of all incomes, all abilities, all disabilities, all ages, can come and enjoy. From a conceptual and functional perspective, Pier Park is by far the best choice. Not only is it the best choice, but the concept of a pier type park was the number one public supported concept with over 11,000 public votes. I'm also a member of a group of young professionals that have come together that envisions the pier as entertaining, active, new, and suitable for the downtown waterfront master plan. That pier, we feel, is Pier Park. I am supportive of Pier Park because it is an innovative design uh, and, a, and a bold concept that respects the history of St. Pete, while also looking uh, to create a flexible design uh, that actively engage visitors throughout the entire pier process and approach. Well, there's a lot of it for kids, and I think that we should build Pier Park so that kids can have a pier sooner. A um, hundred or so years ago, uh, the leadership of St. Petersburg made the decision to preserve the green belt that is around uh, St. Petersburg. And that was a very controversial decision at the time. Think about it. At that time, every other city was industrializing their waterfront. We went a very different direction and we preserved our green space. Now, excuse me. To my mind, the only project that actually uh, advances and actually increases the amount of green space there is actually the Pier Park design. So from that sense, if you think can garner my opinion, yeah, I think that one, that is my, my preference here, ultimately, uh, is for that, to actually expand the green space uh, that made St. Petersburg very unique. So let's keep attracting the new generation with a new, visionary, and vibrant pier. Let's give artists something that will inspire and change with the seasons by adding green space that never goes out of style. With that said, it's my opinion that Pier Park is the only choice for the future of St. Petersburg. Activated urban space is best represented by Pier Park. Uh, for its innovative use of the entire pier span, expanding our important and precious green space, as Peter Kagayama and others before me mentioned, uh, as well as providing multiple areas for uh, hosting public and private events scaled to any size and tying into existing recreation and transportation systems uh, in a way that mirrors, I feel, the beautifully renovated Highline Park in New York City.